This is a, a good night for a young comedian to appear because you're all in a great mood. Uh, this is her first appearance on network television, although she can be seen this month on HBO's Young Comedian Special. And she's working at the Improvisation in San Diego this weekend. She'll be at the San Francisco Punchline the 3rd through the 6th of December and at the Dallas Improv December the 9th through the 6th to 14th. Would you welcome Ellen DeGeneres. Ellen? <laughs> You feeling good? Yeah. Me too. Feel great. I've been keeping in shape lately, you know? You have to. I'm getting older. I'm 27. People say, you don't look 27. You look like you're about 23. I'm lucky, because that runs in my family. My grandmother is 97. She looks about 93. <laughs> have a little nephew who's four. Doesn't even look like he's born yet. <laughs> Tiny embryo of a thing. That's great. That whole fitness thing runs in my family, though, I think. My grandmother started walking five miles a day when she was 60. She's 97 today, and we don't know where the hell she is. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. We know where she is. She's in prison. But, uh, I'm kidding again, you know. I kid a lot, because uh, I'm a comedian. Uh, <laughs> A lot of people ask me, were you funny as a child? And uh, no, I was an accountant. But um, uh, my mother used to hum me to sleep every night. She'd stand there. Mm. So aggravating. <laughs> my parents were extremely cruel to me. I remember one day I was coming home from kindergarten. Well, they told me it was kindergarten. I found out later I'd been working in a factory for two years. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Yeah. We used to, we used to, uh, my dad, when I was about four or five years old, he walks up to me before Christmas one day and he says, Ellen, what would you like for Christmas? I said, gosh, Dad, I'd like a little dolly. Christmas Day, he wheels in this tremendous heavy metal thing. <laughs> no, Dad, that's not what I mean. You ever try to dress, dress one of those things? They're impossible. They're just... We had fire drills around the house so that in case of a fire, we each had a special duty. Like my father had to grab the pets, my mother grabbed the jewelry, my brother ran out to get help. They told me to try to save the washer and dryer. <laughs> so, good thing I had that dolly. Because <laughs> you know, they're heavy. I used to wander around the woods when I was a kid, because my parents would put me there. And um, <laughs> I'd find petrified wood, and I'd think to myself, what could have scared these trees so badly? <laughs> Maybe a dinosaur lifting his leg, I guess that was scary. <laughs> A tree. I'm always thinking about these things because to me life is very precious. It's very special. We're here for such a short time that everything on this earth should have a reason, should have a beneficial purpose. And I feel like everything does, except for fleas. Yeah. <laughs> fleas do nothing at all beneficial. I always thought at times like this when we can't figure it out for ourselves, wouldn't it be great if we could just pick up the phone and call up God and ask him these things? Just pick up the phone and call up God. Yeah, hi, God. This is Ellen. <laughs> Ellen. Degenerous. Degenerous. <laughs> what, what's so funny? <laughs> no, I never thought of that. It does sound like that, doesn't it? Uh, I get it. Yeah, listen, if you weren't too bit Sure, hold on. Somebody's at the gate. <laughs> Yeah, no, just sing along to your tape. <laughs> That's it. it's, it's not a tape. They're good. <laughs> they're great. Yeah. Listen, there are certain things on this earth I just don't understand why they're here. No, not Charo. <laughs> no. But there are certain things, that, like uh, insects. Uh, no, bees are great. The honey. That was clever. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking more about fleas. They seem to have no benefit. No, I didn't realize how many people were employed by the flea collar industry. <laughs> not, not to mention sprays. Well, <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Of course you are. <laughs> yeah, of course you are. <laughs> Being who you are. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got a little cold. God bless you. Or bless yourself. <laughs> bless yourself. <laughs> 
ha ha, still doing that comedy. You got a joke for me? Oh, I'd love to hear it. Uh huh. Now I got time. Of course, you would know that more than me, huh? <laughs> that was a joke. Go ahead. Who's there? God who? Godzilla. <laughs> well, incredibly funny, huh? Yeah. Yeah, and another one, sure. Uh, who's there? God who? Got a dime. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, I don't have time for another one. No. Uh, okay. Yeah, I just remembered an appointment I have to get to, so I gotta go. How about that? God who? Gotta go? Cute? Stupid. All righty. It was good talking to you, too. And I'll see, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's very, that's very clever and very fresh. And uh... Well, that's wonderful hearing that from you. No, Thank I mean you. it. It's good material. <laughs> Thank you. How long have you been doing this? Four years. Yeah? Yeah. And you work in the comedy clubs and like the improv and... Oh, a lot, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the road is tough. <laughs> I know, it's got to be. And it's, yeah. it's, it's always tougher for a, a woman to do comedy. I say that and men think I'm being chauvinistic. No, it's not at all because they'll accept a certain <laughs> amount... <laughs> they'll accept a little more aggression in men for some reason. Exactly. And I think men can get away with a lot more. Yeah. And which is understandable, I think. Yeah. yeah. But that's very good stuff. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I wish you would. Will you come back with us soon? I would love to. Okay, you got an in open invitation. Oh, thank you. Okay, I'll, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs>